Hi, welcome to online tutorial series on digital signal processing using MATLAB and Python. In our last video, we learned the theoretical description of some of the basic signals and some of the introductory part of digital system, digital signals. In this video, we will learn how to generate some of those elementary signals like uh, step signal, impulse signal, and ramp signal, specifically use, uh, using Python. So if you want to download this Python script, you can download it from the download section at our website that is www.jcbrlabs.org. So now without wasting time, let's start it. Let's open Python. So this is the Anaconda, uh, Anaconda distribution of Python as we have discussed in lecture zero video. And we'll open this spider. Let's connect it in the meantime. Okay, so let's create a new script. Okay, so there are several things. Let's start uh, writing with this Python. So there are several things with it. We need to import first of all matplotlib and specifically pyplot as plt and then we will import another one numpy as np because there will be several operations uh, which will be doing on the numpy arrays so let's go to desktop and make it text underscore signal save it okay so first we want if there is uh, already some of the figures being opened up so first thing we want to close them all so there is command plt uh, dot close and in this you need to put the argument all right so it will create all the commands uh, or close all the windows which are open so first of all we will generate a sample axis so or we can say sample indexes right so what is the sample index as you know in discrete or in digital domain uh, we have sample numbers, discrete numbers starting from 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. Similarly for this minus side, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and so on. Okay. So first of all we want to generate this. So it can be pretty, uh, it, can, it is very easy to generate these zeros and that is np dot zeros and we can define like from where to where we can generate it okay so instead of zero so this sample index can be easily generated using a command np dot arrange so this arrange number is to generate a uniformly distributed numbers from our first index to the last index so in python we will try to keep on running each command uh, in the uh, python console as well so let's run this command to check whether we are able to generate numbers or not okay yep so this sample index has been created uh, make sure this uh, arrange command starts from minus 10 and goes up to n minus 1. If we have put 10, so it will go up to 9 only. So total it will generate 20 numbers. You can also check this all in variable explorer window. Here it is. Now uh, we want to generate the impulse signal. So there is a command like np dot size if I look let's say np dot size of n yep so it gives the uh, size of this window size of this uh, index number so let's generate uh, uh, imp equals to np dot size of sample index right uh, let's take it in length l variable and then 
uh, we need to put now in order to generate this impulse signal first we will generate a zeros vector of the same length as that of the n so that can be np dot zeros of n right so let's check whether this command works or not okay n is the multi okay sorry it should be l size of the matrix okay so there will be total zero array will be there now what we want at the point for impulse signal because impulse signal exists only this location at zero and that is equals to one at that location and all other points it is equals to zero right so we will do exactly that okay. So now we will find the index where n is equals to 0. So it will go into n. Uh, there is a basic command uh, np dot where. Right? So this np dot where command is used to find an index where n equals to, equals to 0. Right? So this particular command will return the index where n is equals to 0. So if you go to ind, it will give this 10th index, this n is equals to 0. And at that index, so imp at that index, we will put equals to 1. Okay. So now let's check how it looks like. So uh, simple uh, will plot it using a stem plot so np dot stem uh, will go take n and imp uh, and then uh, let's make a title okay not m np it will be plt dot stem and then plt dot title uh, impulse signal and then plt dot x label sample number and then plt dot y label it will be simple amplitude and then plt dot grade uh, we need to provide true here okay. so let's run it and uh, let's see okay it generates a plot of this impulse signal that's cool okay right so you may be wondering uh, or it may be possible that this particular plot is coming up here in the console window right so that may be the case if you are uh, have started on this Python or this anaconda for the first time so this video will be appearing up here so you know if you want to make it as a separate window you have to go to the tools and then preferences and then go to ipython console and then go to graphics and in graphics uh, this backend or the graphics backend this should be selected automatic instead of online by default it's selected as inline you can make it automatic and then simple okay and after doing after that you have to restart this spider because if you don't restart it it will automatically take so the previous settings only uh, the new settings only comes into effect when you restart this spider or it will be better if you restart this complete anaconda uh, distribution okay so this is how we have generated the impulse signal so next step is to generate the step unit step signal so first have a look how this unit step signal looks like so unit step signal is defined as zero for all the values uh, for less than zeros and it equals to one for all the values greater than zeros right and so 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 it will be one at zero index it will be one at one and so on for all the index numbers which are greater than zero the unit step signals has amplitude as one so again we have already taken the size of n in l so again we will generate a 
zeros are zeros vector of entire length L right and then we will find the indexes where n is greater than or equals to 0 right and then in a step signal at all those indexes i and a we will make all those indexes the value at those indexes as 1 so now we will plot so let's take it entirely plot instead of this imp it will be step and here it will be unit step signal and further uh, because uh, if we don't make a new figure it will update the original figure or it will hold the original figure so we have to make another figure or we can say figure 2 All right so this is how we will done let's try it okay. so yeah all the uh, now this strap signal is being generated at all the positive indexes it is equals to 1 okay so let's change a little different instead of this uh, slight blue lines we want uh, red lines there so we can make it like a minus minus and this index is similar to MATLAB index oh it's cool okay so uh, that's it now let's generate to uh, move to our third generation uh, third very basic signal that is the ramp signal so let's generate a ramp signal so prior to generating let's have a look how this ramp signal looks like okay let's first uh, clear all this so ramp signal has a special property it is equals to the index number for all the values greater than zero that means for all the values or all the indexes which are less than 0 ramp signal is 0 and all the index which are greater than 0 it is equal to the index number so at 0 it will be 0 at 1 it will be 1 at 2 its amplitude will be 2 at 3 its amplitude will be 3 and so on so the amplitude is directly equal to the sample index number so we can do that yep so first generate a ramp signal again and p dot zeros of l and then find the indexes where it is greater than or equals to zero okay we can reduce this one command because it it is similar to the previous one and then in ramp signal mp at all the indexes we will have the value of n at all those indexes so what it is doing all those indexes whatever the value of n at those indexes where n is greater than 0 we will assign that value into the ramp variable okay so if you give a little thought to it you will understand how it is being executed so now let's copy this entire and let's change it to 3 and instead of this step it is rmp and we need to change the title as well it will be ramp signal right and sample number I'm to okay all this fine now let's run it and try so all of our three signals have been generated so let's have a different color for this in say green color yep. this is a unit step signal and the third one this is the ramp signal so I hope you understand uh, how to generate these some of the basic signals in Python and if you want to download this python script you uh, you can do that directly from in the from the download section uh, from our website which is uh, www.gcbrolabs.org so that's it for this video thank you